never ignore your salary projects will come and go companies will come and go even technologies will come and go but to secure your own future money must come right hello friends if you are working in an it company or a product based company as a software engineer then there is one thing that nobody in your company will discuss with you but everyone is curious about it and that is salary right now we must be clear about our salary status as early as possible in our careers salary status means whether our salary is less or average otherwise as time passes by the salary gap will grow wider and wider later it will be too late and too difficult to cover that gap even if 50% hike will not cover that gap and most companies only give 25 to 30% hike then even changing the job will not help so today i will share how to learn to earn more and some tips to calculate your current salary status hey my name is happy many candidates get offers jobs through my interviews and career videos but 90% of them miss liking or subscribing the channel so subscribe the channel and learn about the career mistakes in the it and software industry many candidate ask me one question very frequently in the comment section is this is the right time to change the job but before answering this question let me ask you one question suppose you want to be a very good software developer or coder which you want to be and you think coding is your passion or it will be your passion in the future but uh, tell me seriously if coding is your passion then can you code for free yes initially in college and until you get your first job you can do it for free of cost okay uh, because that is a, the learning phase but after getting your first job and salary can then you really do it for free my friend after you get your first salary you got the taste of the blood okay passion passion are now secondary things we need cash for our coding skills and work right therefore the conclusion is if you cannot do it for free do not you think that doing it for lower or less salary is also like the same thing like uh, doing it for free so when someone asks you is this is the right time to change the job the answer is yes if your salary is low or average even average or if you are a person with high aspirations then this is the right time full stop okay now the problem is many people even don't know whether their salary is low or average or high the first reason for not knowing this is ignorance ignorance means they never want to discuss their or anyone else salary uh, i can understand why companies do not want to you to share your salaries okay but that is because the company's own benefit uh, otherwise the other employees will start looking for the jobs or for ask for the raise from their manager that's why company do not want to discuss your salary but if you have even 1% doubt about your salary then discuss it with your colleagues whom you can trust okay or 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 you can do some market research the whole point is first of all to accept the truth that my salary is low or average accept this fact as soon as possible and the reality you have to first know right because salary is the biggest motivation for growth also so do not ignore it and do not close your eyes in front of it now if you can't discuss your salary with your colleagues or friends i can understand then here are some journal ways to calculate your salary okay so answer these questions okay was your last salary hike was less than 15% of, uh, at you, in your current company in your last appraisal simple logic uh, i will tell you like cost of the things are increasing 10% per year right then why not your salary you can check an increase in the housing prices uh right it's increasing day by day now again there is a condition for 15% uh, maybe you are getting the 15% hike but if your salary is under 8 lakhs then replace this 15% with 820% uh 
now if you do not want to relate your salary with appraisal maybe that is your first appraisal or for any reason then there is one other very simple way also multiply your multiply your experience uh, with salary by 2.5 and that is the average salary of it employees in india okay so now you got some idea for calculating your own salary but if you are a person again with the high aspiration then sky is the limit right again never ignore your salary projects will come and go companies will come and go even technologies will come and go but to secure your own future money must come right but it should go as per your own conditions your own desires but it should come then apart from ignorance uh, there is one other point that employees try to make uh, for salary comparison and that is market conditions i think software engineers including you and me are the worst market analyze analysts uh, let me tell you how we analyze we open youtube google or facebook and then we see videos related related to recession and uh, job loss a post like uh, google is firing employees essential is firing employees now what google and youtube will do they will show us more and more similar kind of videos right and then we make up our mind and tell our friends that yes recession is there do not pick a new job do not give interviews but in reality if you check the stock market of the us or europe uh, they are uh, pretty doing well all the time okay and uh, tell me mostly the projects from the uh, for the it companies are coming from those countries only so where is the recession because uh, uh, recession will come if stock market will crash right and if even if the recession is real then how can it impact you why you are bothered you are already in recession because your own salary is very low or average so that is also a kind of recession situation right so oh sorry all i am trying to say is to check your own conditions and aspirations do not depend on external things now the problem is many employees wants to learn and they do learn but they are not going doing it in the it in the right way so this is also the very important which is choosing the right learning goals see learning new technologies is very very important in the software industry right the problem is that learning without goals or exams is very difficult for us the reason is uh, because in our education system engineering mca bca until there is an exam we are not going to study even if we study or learn something we will not do it with a proper focus and purpose so tomorrow we will forget all those things whatever whatever we learned okay and that is the problem which is common to all including you and me and everyone so now the question is what is the best and the smartest way to learn one way of learning is to have a certification goal but the problem with certification is that they are just uh, certificates i have never seen an employee who get promoted or get a salary hike because they completed a certification yes yes certification is a good for updating in your linkedin profile okay or write it in your resume but nobody nobody will give you the job based on just your certification at last you have to answer the questions in interviews to get the job right also also i do not trust certifications because the reason is they are dumps and cheat sheets are very easily available so tell me why you will do the hard work or learn something when you know that the other person is going through the dumps and cracking the exam so you will directly do the cheat sheet right you will directly try the dumps and as i said you certification may help you in learning still but it will not help you in earning okay so it will be a goal without any reward reward okay so to get reward only two kinds of learning goals are important first goal is that you are in a project and you have to implement some functionality for in your application and before implementing understanding is important therefore you will first learn it by yourself and then implement it this kind of learning is the best and is very effective and it is automatic also 
the reason not because uh, you are very talented or something uh, because if you do not learn and implement it then your manager or clients are sitting there for you then your weekdays and weekends will be the same in short this is also a kind of exam under pressure uh, which is the best way of course the best way to learn now the next way to learn is to is is what we what i call learn to earn it is learning for interviews even if you are not looking for a job right now even then always learn in a way that when the time comes you can use that learning or notes for your interviews that's why i always keep one excel sheet with me for myself where i have all the concepts in questions and answer format and before interviews i just open the excel sheet and revise all the questions i think everyone does that everyone do that but once we get the job we think like uh, life is over and we forget that sheet after that the point is whatever you learn learn in a way so that in the future you can explain the same to anyone and get the reward also and the best way for doing is to give some interviews even if you are not looking for a job that's fine give interviews just to get a reality check and know the market condition in reality not by just assuming and by watching videos okay and most importantly interviews will help you in gaining the confidence okay some candidates ask me if they will give the interview and then they don't join the uh, don't accept the offer letter then maybe they will they are losing their chance right uh, interview chance my friend there are thousands of companies out there i always said even if you give interviews daily even then it is not sorry uh, not going to be uh, over soon okay but okay safe side do not attend big um, companies interviews but attend for smaller ones or at least start preparing great that's all from my side do learn do hard work but do not forget to collect the reward for that okay and most importantly don't forget to like and subscribe and do check out my next video for career growth